to users. Uh, okay. So you're asking how do we create users in DB2? Right, right, right. The first thing we need to remember here is DB2 outsourced user management, not everything, like 50% are, are something like that to operating system. So the basic thing we need to learn, I mean, remember here is when someone says that he or she would like to access your DB2 databases, which are running on XYZ server, for example, here is what? So Ravi sent a request to Sayed saying that, Hi Sayed, I would like to access MDB1 database running on RHL1 box. Right? The moment Ravi says this, right? The moment Ravi says this, Sayed needs to guide Ravi in a such a way that Green is not visible, Ravi. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. How about now? Yes, yeah, it's good. Now. Yeah, sure. Yes. Sorry about that. So what I'm saying is Ravi sent an email to Syed saying that uh, I would like to access tempdb one database which is running on RHL1 box. Now Syed needs to tell Ravi that uh, please open a ticket with Unix team to create a user account on RHL1 box. Once the user account is created, please provide me the user ID so that I can grant necessary connect privileges to I can grant privileges to connect to tempdb1 it's a two-step process so let's say Ravi opened a ticket here with Unix team now what Unix team will do they log into this box as a user root and they just creates a user ID So this just creates a user ID using a command called user add. What is the home directory and the user ID? So n Ravi already exists. So Ravi. So Ravi also already exists. Ravi K. So they'll just create a user ID like this. So most of the time what user ID to give depends upon some AD authentication, depending upon your unique IDs at your workplace. Right. Most of the servers that you log in have the same user IDs. So you just have to give them what is your active directory account or common, related. Yeah, common user ID we use at workplace. So let's say if this is my ADA account ID. So I'll get a user ID created like this. Right? So the password will be modified something like password. So I'll receive an email from Unix team saying that your account is created with a password, password. Now once I have these details, I will just pass on these details to this guy Syed so that Syed will give me necessary privileges. Now Syed logs into the same server with the instance owner. and connects to the respective database grant connect on database to user RVK. so that RVK can going forward connect to this database in summary to answer your question it's a two-step process in the step number one you need to have a user account created at a OS level or at an LDAP or Kerberos level, whichever is the authentication we are using right. has to be created there. Once I have that user account created, this account is what a DBA needs. 
so that the necessary privileges can be granted to this user ID. Yes. Uh, is that answers your question, Sayed? Yes, sir. Thank you.